What's up, YouTube? Capital G here, looking at a brand new car from Coda the Duelist called Urgent Emergency Assistance Rescue. Wow, I'll say that five times fast. And this is actually a brand new support card for, I guess, the rescue archetype. Can we call it an archetype now? Because there's like five cards in it, and I feel like Dragon Ruler started out with eight cards, and people were like, yeah, they're an archetype. So I guess we can kind of consider this an archetype now if you guys are unaware, in addition to obviously like Rescue Hamster, Rescue Rabbit, and you know, the original O. OG Rescue Cat, that was just, that card was so broken in Gladiator Beast and uh, X-Sabers back in the day. Even some people played it in like Crystal Beast. There will be a new rescue monster coming out in Code of the Duelist called Rescue Ferret. It's actually, it's pretty decent. I mean, I might end up re uh, reviewing it. I think that all of them, to be honest, make Link Summoning a lot easier, like especially these two guys, because, you know, the monsters are like destroyed during the end phase and whatnot, but it doesn't matter. You can just use them for Link Summoning or XC Summoning, etc, etc. And now we have this new support card that's actually pretty good i'm gonna go ahead and read the effect and then we'll talk about you know the potential of the card it says you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn so it is a hard it is a hard once per turn doesn't matter how many copies that you have you can only activate one um if your opponent's life or if your life points are lower than your opponent's um, you can reveal three beast type monsters with 300 attack and 100 defense from your deck your opponent chooses one of them uh, for you to add to your hand the rest get shuffled back into your deck and if you're wondering yes all the cards that are actually on this artwork rescue hamster rescue rabbit rescue cat and rescue ferret they are all available targets by the way the artwork on this card is adorable especially rescue hamster because he's like so tiny but he's the, he's the one that's like lowest on the cliff so it's like he's the tiniest one but he's like the brave Davis one man that's when I'm, I'm feeling that I'm feeling that uh, rescue hamster I'm definitely feeling that so here's the thing I'm not exactly sure how I should feel about urgent emergency because this cards playability drastically differs depending on where you play Yu-Gi-Oh and I think that a lot of people are actually going to be divided on this card because you look at this card and you take it in the context of the OCG this shit is amazing this card is incredible like I'm not ready to quite go too broken but you could definitely see this card seeing some competitive play or building decks around it but if you looked at it in the the context of the TCG and the card pool that we have right this second, even if you threw in Rescue Ferret in addition to this, you'd just be like, uh meh like you know it's it's not trash but it's just not that good it's not that impressive like you feel completely different and it's because our card pools are so drastically different like i know a lot of people are going to zone in on the whole your life points have to be lower than your opponents but you guys gotta remember in the ocg they have multiple upstarts and they have chicken game like you know how much easier it is to get your life points lower than your opponents and they got solemn judgment like it's it's so fucking easy <laughs> like that activation condition of your life points have to be lower like every every player in ocg is like okay well we run solemn and we've got upstarts and we've got chicken game like you know how easy it is to do over here it's like all we have is one copy of upstart so it's kind of difficult and even if you look at the target pool rescue cat got errated guys some of you guys might not remember that in the ocg you can actually play rescue cat legally and to be honest the errata really didn't change all that much about rescue cat i actually think that rescue cat is still really really good um it, after it's a rata where basically it is now a hard once per turn and the only difference is the monsters that you summon with rescue cat their effects are negated but outside of that like you can still exceed with them you can still use them for link summoning you can still use them for synchroing so you know not only do they have a banned card that we don't have access to fucking rescue rabbit and the ocg is at three and it's at one in the tcg so holy shit like this card is just it's insane it's so good in the ocg and it's so lackluster in the tcg and it's i know i don't actually know how to review that you know what i mean i guess if you're playing ocg it's amazing you can definitely experiment you can build some decks around it if we're playing in the tcg guys like i don't know i mean we'd have to cross our fingers and hope that we get the rescue cat errata just to start and then we would still kind of have a mediocre activation because if you revealed rescue if you revealed one copy of rescue rabbit and one copy of rescue cat like your opponent is not going to give you those cards those cards are still really good by today's standards your opponent is probably going to give you like the rescue ferret or the hamster or something like that well in the ocg 
you can pretty much force them to give you a rescue rabbit. You can show them, you know, two rabbits and a cat, or you can show them, you know, uh, three rabbits, and it's like they don't really have a choice but to give you a rabbit. So you guys let me know what you think. It, it's it's kind of crazy, as I've said. I think that this card is amazing in the OCG because I think that they have way more ways to manipulate their life points, and it's not an issue at all when you've got chicken game, multiple upstarts, and solemn judgments. But in the TCG, it's like our, our card pool just isn't, it's not conducive to making this card really good like i would be absolutely shocked if people played this in a tcg because um not just do we not have all the great rescue targets but we don't have enough ways to consistently activate this like turn one you know what i mean like we have one upstart and if you're going first with this card how else are you really adjusting your life points to make them lower than your opponents you know what i mean so you guys let me know what you think i still think the concept of the card is really good i'm gonna cross my fingers and hope that this means by maybe the time we get coded the duelist in the ocg or in the tcg maybe konami will have some sense and they'll give us the rescue cat errata that would kind of help but i still would really like to see rescue uh rabbit at three in the tcg and honestly the timing right now does kind of make sense because if konami wants to push the dinosaur structure deck there's a lot of vanilla dinosaurs people going to want to play and vanilla dinosaurs obviously means evolvers and what card brings out vanilla dinosaurs rescue rabbit so kind of makes sense so you guys let me know what you guys think leave it in the comment section below thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already